folks. I wanted to talk with you today about fishless cycling and your aquaponics system. The objective here with the uh, fishless cycling is to get the bacteria that you need into your grow beds in order to convert the ammonia and fish waste into plant food. So the way that you're doing this is with pure liquid ammonia. Now this stuff here is some stuff that you can find at a lot of uh, grocery stores and such. It uh, does probably have a little bit of uh, extra stuff in it that you wouldn't want, but it works fine. If you can get the purest ammonia that you can find, uh, this one says on the bottle that it contains ammonium hydroxide and surfactant. Now, I'm not sure what a surfactant is, but I'm pretty sure it's probably not supposed to be there, but what are you going to do? This is what I was able to get a hold of. I think that it might be difficult to get a hold of pure liquid ammonia because people make, like, crack or methamphetamines out of the stuff or crystal meth or some, some stuff, such thing. But uh, get yourself the purest form of liquid ammonia that you can find, and you're going to want to add liquid ammonia to your tank that holds your fish before the fish are in there obviously now here's the trick you want to get enough ammonia into the system that it will read on your API freshwater master test kit that it will read between two and four parts per million it'll be nice and green the color on the on the uh, in the tube will be green a good strong green uh, you, now the way that you can test that in order to um, see how much your system needs, my tank is 85 gallons and I added uh, I think 10 caps for the first time and then waited for about an hour, an hour and a half for the system to you know, mix it up, cycle it through the grow beds a couple of times and then tested it and it showed me that it was a little bit high so the next day I backed it down to um, eight, eight capfuls and that got me closer to where I wanted to be and I thought maybe it was just slightly high so the next day I added only seven capfuls and that seemed to be the magic number for my system to keep it riding right at between two and four parts per million uh, in my 85 gallon tank a pretty constant flow of uh, ammonia to keep it at that level. Now what will happen after a period of 7, 10, 14 days, 20 days depending upon the temperature where you're at, if it's warm uh, above 75 degrees it's likely that this is going to happen much faster. If it's cold where you are, then your your colony of bacteria is going to have a little more. Uh, it's going to be its growth is going to be inhibited slightly by the temperatures because the bacteria doesn't really like that temperature. They like to be warmer to thrive, so it might take a little bit longer. But what you're looking for is to to go ahead and keep adding the same amount of ammonia to your system each day until. One day you're going to test your system and the ammonia is going to start disappearing. Even though you've put in your 7, 10, however many capfuls of ammonia that your system requires, even though you put that full dose in, it could be just like 8 hours later and that ammonia is going to be completely gone. It's going to be down to zero. That is an excellent indication. That means that your system is converting the ammonia into nitrites. And it is about the time that your 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 um, system starts to release, uh, suck up more of that ammonia and start to disappear. That your nitrites will also start to disappear. Maybe not as not quite as rapidly. Mine, for example, the ammonia went to zero, and then a couple days later, the nitrites went to zero. And then it was like no matter what you did, you could throw in a bunch of ammonia and just within eight to ten hours or even sometimes quicker it was gone the ammonia was gone the nitrites were zero and all that was left was nitrates plant food so that's how you do it 
you want to make sure to dose your system with the correct amount to get yourself to two to four parts per million and then keep that up every day until it disappears and that's basically all there is to fishless cycling now you definitely want to have some plants in there that can use up that uh, that nitrate that you're, you're, you're building up in there uh, that'll definitely help and then uh, once you have reached that cycle is complete to where your ammonia and nitrites are zero parts per million and your nitrates uh, could be anywhere from 10 to 15 to up to 80 you could be generating a ton of nitrates uh, and that lets you know how much plant food your system is generating uh, essentially is what that's telling you is how much nitrates uh, your system is likely to produce when you have full-grown fish in there so now it, when it's time to add the fish you simply stop adding the ammonia let it sit for 24 hours add your fish and that's pretty much all there is to a fishless cycle and uh, it's really easy to do it just takes a little patience and um, just let it keep running and it'll it'll work out its uh, business but you'll want to uh, on your on your pH I haven't noticed much change and I have understood through my readings and my research that the the pH level will start off high usually in most places especially where you have hard water or mineral deposits or something like that uh, like we certainly do out here in the southwest desert those uh, I am currently reading at about 7.4 on the pH scale which is just slightly higher than um, it's actually fairly in the safe zone but I think the optimum is like 6.8 to 7.2 uh, parts per million or not no not parts per million but on the pH scale the power of hydrogen so this system will might take a little while it takes about a month or two as far as I have understood a couple of months maybe even three months before the system will run and the pH will begin to stabilize and go down uh, and the only thing that the one of the things that I have heard is that the pH may go down to a point where it's, you don't want it that low and you'll need to raise it up. That will happen with a lot of aquaponic systems is that uh, the pH will go a little lower than you'd like and you just need to add some bicarbonate of, or bicarbonate of soda or uh, crushed egg shells that have been nuked in the microwave to uh, kill the bacteria. Something to buffer that pH and bring it up just a little bit. Um, but I haven't experienced that problem yet. Right now I've got a, a a fairly high pH but it's safe for the fish and the plants but I expect that it will come down a little bit so there is how you do a fishless cycle in order to add your plants uh, your fish excuse me so uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, subscribe like ask questions we love to engage in conversation uh, I actually answer like every question that is asked of me. That's the benefit of not having very many people watch your videos. You can actually answer questions. So um, thanks a lot for watching and have an excellent day. Uh, go and grow something and read your Bible too.